In today's video, let's talk about Huntress, a very interesting character from the iconic series Justice League Unlimited. We'll explore her backstory and learn a bit more about who she is. Most of us know her as Huntress, but her real name is Helena Bertinelli. She grew up in a tough environment as the daughter of a mob boss named Franco Bertinelli. Tragically, when she was just a child, she witnessed a horrific event that changed her life forever. She saw her parents murdered by a man named Stephen Mandragora, who was driven by a ruthless desire for power. This traumatic experience left a deep mark on her soul and filled her with a burning desire for revenge. As she grew older, she dedicated herself to training and honing her skills, preparing herself to confront the man who took everything from her. Instead of following a traditional path, she became more of a vigilante, which is likely where she got the name Huntress. After the Thanagarian invasion, Huntress became part of the larger Justice League team. However, there was a major problem. The Justice League had a strict code that prohibited killing or harboring vengeful thoughts. Unfortunately for Huntress, she was filled with those very thoughts, especially when it came to avenging her parents' deaths. At one point, she even broke into the mansion of the man who had killed her parents, fully intending to take him out. If the man had been there, she would have killed him without a second thought. As a result of this confrontation, Huntress was kicked out of the Justice League. On what turned out to be her last day, she managed to convince the question, a fellow hero who would later become her love interest, to help her track down her parents' murderer. They struck a deal, and together they set out on a mission fueled by her thirst for vengeance, which often put them at odds with the Justice League. When she finally had the chance to take her revenge and shoot the man responsible for her parents' deaths, something unexpected happened. She saw his young son running toward him, and in that moment, she was flooded with memories of her own childhood. She remembered the horror of witnessing her parents being killed, and it struck her that she didn't want another child to experience that same pain. Even though the man was guilty of terrible things, she couldn't bring herself to kill him in front of his son. Instead of killing him, she made a split-second decision. While he got injured, it didn't kill him, which was a significant choice for Huntress. Her deal with the question was basically that in exchange for his help, she promised to give him information about Project Cadmus. However, the question was aware that she didn't really know anything about the project. Still, he agreed to assist her, knowing that the boy would be at the scene. He hoped to teach Huntress a lesson about the consequences of her actions. When she saw the boy hugging his father, the man who had taken her parents away, she likely imagined herself in the boy's position. This realization helped her spare his life. The question also admitted that he had feelings for her. In a moment of connection, she kissed him, marking the beginning of their relationship. While many episodes of Justice League Unlimited don't focus on Huntress, this particular storyline highlights her complexity as a character. Though she may not always be in the spotlight, her character is fascinating and adds depth to the series.